time I faced his keyboard in console, I five stacked him. <laughs> I five stacked not only him, but his fox. Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, you're no, you're no slouch, so some, it's not like some. You know. <laughs> He would say that the up B wasn't working and he couldn't recover and uh, none John, of the buttons John's, were meant. Yeah, exactly. John's. I five stocked him yeah. and th that's how it is. I'm using a keyboard. <laughs> John's. You five stock boom. I did. That's is what it boils down to at I the end had, of the day. There were plenty of witnesses in the room. Yeah. Okay. And now there are hundreds of witnesses in the world. Well, that's pretty awesome. You can pretty much retire now. <laughs> is he Man. messing around with it right now? Looks like they're still trying to hook it up. So basically how it works is uh, Karai and Steve Elliott, yeah. who we were talking about before, who made the adapter that allowed LD uh, to play with his Xbox controller on console, uh, is using the same adapter to allow keyboard uh, for console as well. And what it does is it hooks up the controller or the keyboard through his computer and then the computer from an adapter into the uh, console. So there is like a delay, like a frame delay. I think it might be like two, one or two frames. Uh, Steve told me it's one to three frames. One to three. So I guess it varies. I guess you could calculate it precisely, yeah. but it definitely, who wants to do that? It definitely made things a little weird. Like if you look at the way the hand moves, I mean it's yeah, it's really fast, but it almost has like a like a it's like a jittery feel. It's not like yeah. smooth. It's like so. I don't know. I noticed that when I was playing LD, my hand was moving like that too at the character select screen. So that's my John for you know if LD beat me in friendlies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know if it affects overall. The it didn't really feel like it was really affecting anything once the game started. But he's trying for some falling up airs and he's not get him, getting them. Getting it. Is he's, is, yeah, Boom sitting down like uh, the Japanese did at Apex. Is he? And he's using the keyboard? I feel like this needs to be confirmed by our eyes. You see him using it? I can. I'm gonna go look. <laughs> go ahead. All right, so Boom is sitting Indian style, uh, like the Japanese did at um, Apex 2013. Only Boom's using a keyboard on his lap. <laughs> unlike the Japanese at Apex. Very unlike, unlike the, the Japanese, game. yeah. So we got Keyboard King versus uh, Sensei, the Grand Finals. I don't know if he's going to do this. Is he going to do this for the whole Grand Finals? I feel like he wants to win, keep his unbeaten streak versus Sensei going, and get the, the more money out of it. So he'll probably go do it for a set, and then he'll be like, okay. and if he loses. Let's say he loses. What's your opinion on like something like this? Like. Does this take away from Sensei's victory if he loses? Because you have to think about like in Apex 2012 or in Apex 2013, like the consensus for Smash 64 is that Isaiah is the best player in the world. Yeah. Uh, if someone asked me, I would say Isaiah is the best player in the world. Um, but he went Link in Grand Finals uh, versus Boom. Does that does that take away from Boom's victory at all? You know, like no, because it's still Isaiah. And those were still some great matches. Those were amazing matches. And yeah. if uh, so, yeah, it's not really it. yeah. always best for the game to play to win. You know, to to play to play all their characters and just play the if game. Everyone, if everyone played to win, everyone would play Pikachu, and that would be the game. And it's kind of how it is now, as you've seen on the stream with the right lots of the Pikachu dittos, but people still like having fun. Yeah. Agreed. And not to say I mean, that you can't have fun with Pikachu, end, right? but... Yeah, I actually really enjoyed playing as Pikachu. Yeah. But at the 
same time, Pika Dit Pika Dittos are actually really fun too. Although maybe not so fun to watch sometimes. But to the match, I think yes, Boom Fan is now the orange color. Yeah, so now Boom is uh, his regular color, and Sensei is. Uh, Sensei took the first dodge. Uh, maybe a keyboard jitters. I don't know. We'll see. Boom seems to be holding his own. Nice shine from uh, Sensei to get out of that. You hear that keyboard going nuts. <laughs> Sensei manages to edge one, our boom. One thing that I don't know if we've mentioned, I. Uh, and this is the reason why some people want to ban keyboards, is that the DI can be absolutely ridiculous. Right. So everyone watching should just see what kind of DI the orange fox is going to do. Uh, one thing to remember though is Boom isn't traditionally just a keyboard player, so he may not have the kind of DI that yeah, it's true. people who regularly practice on keyboard have. But yeah, it's said that you can get a lot more full inputs uh, mashing keys than you can with an analog stick. Oh, the that was some nice reverse ledge DI there. Was it the keyboard or was it Boom? Who knows? Yeah, Boom has crazy <laughs> DI on controller though. Yeah. Now S Sensei. Uh, the fr I remember the first match of their Fox Hiddos, it was very close, and the second match was more in Boom's favor in Winner's Finals, but Sensei seems to be in control here. That dash attack against uh, certain characters can lead into some tech chases, and it's, it's, not, it's not so bad. Yeah. Dash attack isn't always expected and uh, has a lot of ending lag, but sometimes it's a useful move, definitely. Sensei taking the three stock lead. Sensei in total control over Boom on keys. Oh, Sensei oh, with the taunt under the lasers. Oh, man. <laughs> the lasers were like the wind in his hair. Boom will get the stock there. Almost Easy made hedgehog. it. He almost had it back, actually. I spoke a little too soon, but... <laughs> was that Boom? I think that was Boom, yeah. Boom shouting, shouting keyboard, keyboard king. king. Keyboard king. <laughs> nice grab. Yeah, you can almost... In my experience, you can almost always grab Fox out of a, a dare. Really? Yeah. So what's your best move to do with Fox if you're daring a shield? Uh... Oh. Sensei takes the first game, and he has a fist pump. <laughs> but uh, a dare on shield, if I ever do that, I'll usually try and aim maneuver Fox the in the side. air to go behind them so you right. can't get shield grab. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like Boom is staying with keys. Uh, one thing that keyboard Kirby can do are his uh, pivot up tilts. Up tilts very yeah. easily, and we'll see, we see Boom doing it. Certain techs are easier with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, <laughs> Sensei just throws out an S smash. Goes for another one. That's so funny. <laughs> see, and we found out how to beat Kirby's pivot up tilt. Spam F's meta game is evolving as we speak. As Battle Cat would say. Zenith 2013 brought to you by VG Boot Camp. Yeah, VG Boot Camp. <laughs> oh. Oh, my mistake. Clash tournaments. I was on Gamer Stream all, all day yesterday. Clash tournaments hooking it up this time. Nice spacing and a back throw for Pika. 
Oh, and nice boom there. reverses that edge guard on him. I mean, keyboard or core controller, it's still booming. He knows how to play this game, so. And that's still Pikachu's F smash. This is a you know, guaranteed win for Sensei. And this is all, obviously, um, this is Grand Finals, but uh, this is the first set. And it'll be all over if Boom wins. But if Sensei wins this set, uh, there's going to be another set. So maybe if Boom loses, he'll go controller for the second set. But we've yet to see. That up tilt just reaches forever. Wow, and he misses the Z cancel there, though. Yeah. Now there are some moves where it might it is a little beneficial at times to not see cancel and Kirby's down air does have some different properties if you don't see cancel it. It actually pops them further horizontally if you don't see cancel. And like Jigglypuffs is more of a vertical pop. But I don't think Boom intentionally missed that Z cancel. Yeah. Nice neutral air. His uh, aerial mobility is pretty spot on I'd say. Nice little down tilt. Down tilt has a great, uh, great angle. Sensei is working the top platform. Ooh, Sensei attacks to the ledge. Runs into that grab after Sensei whips the forward. Air. Sensei has some good DI though to get on stage and not get spiked. Yeah. He won't be able to do it. Oh, he again. will be able to do it again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the shield is going to get broke break, though. though. Maybe an up smash, a forward smash. Up smash probably would have killed Pikachu. Up smash would have killed him on that top platform. I know more about the game than Boom. Done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, Sensei again yeah. with that roll over 100% on the ledge with Pikachu. Yeah, K Kirby is a is a tank in this game, but his throws aren't so good. The, every, basically, everyone lives at very high percentages. Oh, yeah, Pikachu. Just when you spoke, though, yeah. But Pikachu was yeah, at 129. Yeah. Um, but Sensei was going for that uh, F smash on that uh, up tilt on Kirby too. And he has to be careful with that because if it does clank, then Kirby has the advantage. So it works when it doesn't clank, but when the attacks are clanking, it's a pretty bad idea. A nice down tilt. That should take the stock from Kirby. No! Oh, reverse D reverse ledge DI. DI. That keyboard DI will get a shield. No, not get a shield break. Kirby's in control of this match right now. Yeah. This is some Godmaster stuff right here. <laughs> Ooh. Kirby's able to chase him down with that fair. Oh, nice. just missing a down tilt. We get a little taunt from Pika who evens it up stock-wise. Yeah, that was a nice uh, ledge hop to, was it a fastball bear, I think? I think so. I, yeah. yeah, I think so. It was, it was nice looking from Sensei. Good play on his part. Oh. One of quick uh, nair from Kirby. Yeah, one of Kirby's most effective nice. ways to drop pressure is just to press nair. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it has a lot of priority or not priority, but speed are a little disjointed too. Yeah. Sensei is definitely having a little trouble with this keyboard Kirby. Definitely. And, and Boom is definitely playing a, up to the strengths of the keyboard by using that pivot up tilt. Oh, definitely. That's kind of a wall. That's why he's clanking so much. That, yeah. That up tilt just clanks it. If it doesn't get you, it'll clank with you. And yeah, it Sensei just gets so fast. Definitely can't just run in and grab on that pivot up tilt. He's really trying to be careful. I mean, throwing out a, an F smash seems risky, and it is, but he's really hoping Boom just runs into it. A dash attack could maybe clank and get uh, Pikachu a frame advantage or so. Some dash attacks do that, like Donkey Kong's actually and Captain Falcon's. Yeah, that's true. So you have some options. 
So Pikachu is at that percentage where he's gonna die from uh, an Ephedro from Kirby. But Sensei evens it up. It's not game over. And Ooh, that well, could do it, yeah. That is game over. <laughs> 129, same percentage. Keyboard. 1-1 one, one here. So you feel a run back on Hyrule? Or? Oh, I think so. Sensei seem to be pretty comfortable in the Fox matchup. Maybe we'll see a Fox Kirby on... Uh, yep, yeah, on Hyrule. That's it. And uh, Boom feels pretty comfortable with Kirby on keyboard right now, it seems. Sensei's just running away from that up tilt. Because who knows, maybe it'll extend all the way over there. Lasers are uh, a little tougher on Kirby because he's so low. Yeah. So he Still definitely, important. Yeah, he definitely wants a projectile here. I wouldn't have been surprised if he went like Mario or something to have some fireballs to throw out Kirby. Does Sensei have a Mario? Oh, he has a Mario, yeah. All right. He's pretty much got an everybody. I don't really think his Yoshi's too good. I think I beat his Yoshi once with Samus. But pretty sure... Got it all. He's going all the way down there to spike him. Boom, so tough. After uh, Fox is off the ledge against the Kirby, there's very few cases where yeah, he the Kirby can back. just uh, just go not go out there and dare you. Kirby runs right under the lasers for that grab. Oh, great DI on that down tilt. See how far away he bounced? Yeah. Dare brings Kirby to the main platform. Sensei's looking for that grab to do some stuff in the tent here. Let me get snag an easy kill. This is not looking good. No, oh, nice good DI, DI from Sensei. And that okay. get up attack works out for him. He's got to get out of here though right now. Oh, if Sensei was holding a shield, that would have been a shield break. Boom chases and gets that tech chase with the neutral air. Ah, oh. Boom keeps back throwing him off the stage, <laughs> sort of playing a game with him. And Sensei, will li oh, that tornado ends up being the death of him, I think. Yeah. He couldn't have gone really into that tornado. Yeah, he would have been all right without that thing. Textbook lasering right there. Oh. We, we, needed we to saw step Stranded into it, do it yeah. before. He needed to step oh, into that up smash. In. Almost got caught in the up tilt combo. Oh! He had it there, too. He knew he had it. I saw his. Oh, he's, he's we getting see him behind frustrated us. or something. I saw he really his, wants uh, to kill. The frustration in his body language. Oh! Does a good job of avoiding that uh, tornado. Yeah, an up, an up air will, will do it, I think, at this percentage. Kirby's yeah, definitely. Platforms. Especially since he hadn't used the up air, it was probably stale. Interesting thing we were talking about Kirby yesterday is he's really hard to approach from above on the ground and really hard to approach from below in the air. Yes, but he's a lot. His Kirby's main weakness is when he's in the air and you're above him. Yeah, because you can just you can. What does he have? The up air. It's not His up the, air is all. Yeah, it's not that. Good. He has nothing that really protects above him. He has to try and angle himself out from underneath you and back air you. Yeah. And the back air has some decent uh, range above him, but not much. And Sensei is taking the lead. He's using the uh, high roll to his advantage here. He did a nice job to stall with that uh, shine in the spacing war here. Now. One thing that I have noticed Sensei doing is uh, uh, using oh. that wall pretty well. But Boom manages to DI up onto the main part of the stage. But one thing I've noticed Sensei doing is he's going for a full hop uh, uh, down like a, air. A no, like a full hop, like triple laser instead of a short hop double laser. Right. When Kirby's in the air, you have three lasers, and it's harder to move around. And now he's going back to the, the double, double laser. Yeah.
Cole hops right back up onto that tent nicely. Stay out of range of Kirby. Boom wisely lands so he can't be approached from above. Yeah, there's those full hop lasers. Yeah. Oh. I guess he's using it when Kirby's in the tent area. Boom manages to run under the lasers. And last time we saw him grab. Oh, and that'll be a death. Gets him up onto that top platform. Boom ran under the uh, lasers that time. A dash attack that gets shield to get some shield grabbed. Nice. Yeah. Sensei ends up and gets the shine off. And, and shine that, off. And that oh, won't oh, that'll almost do it. do it. Maybe five percent more. Oh, that oh, could have been it. <laughs> Kirby's gonna take some. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's so rarely you see a Kirby uh, suck uh, the powers in, and Boom is really wow. I've never seen this before. Boom was using that laser laser really back. effectively for a that moment there. Maybe he should have done that earlier in the match. Yeah, that, w that was really helping him out at the end. So Sensei's up 2-1 right now. Oh, and boom. Wait, it's just, it's 2-1, right? Are you switching back to controller? You have a second set, you know. You have a second set, Dan. <laughs> All right, so Boom Fan's gonna go back to controller. He's giving up on uh, keyboard. Oh no, <laughs> he's changing his mind. Oh, he's gonna finish this setting as keyboard. We got Steve coming up to uh, calibrate things for him. Let me go find out what's going on so I can give you guys like the, the full scoop. I think he's probably gonna go keyboard for this uh, set though. I think we just talked him into it, even though I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> Stream, press 1 if you want Boom to stick with keyboard. Stick with keyboard. Press 2 if you want him to be at full power. The melee guys are going nuts in the background. They're screaming. Very high pitched screams, I might add. Yeah, we got Dr. More 2s, is that full power? Really? Okay, hang on. We're going to see if we can convince him to go full power for you guys. Alright, Boom says if you guys, do we have more twos than ones? Alright, Boom says since you guys want him to go two, he's going to go two and go full power. So you guys are going to see full power Boom, much to Sensei's dismay. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei's only up 2-1 here. He needs one more game, but... I've never seen Sensei taunt so many times against Boom. <laughs> so... I mean, let's... I guess Boom's going to fill Sensei in. Ah, oh, he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Sensei might be trying to talk him into sticking with uh, keyboard for the whole set. As would I. I mean, as I mean, that'd be the smart play. I think Boom is sticking with Kirby. Yeah. All right. So let's see if his how different his Kirby looks with controller. I feel like he's gonna look much more fluid. You're gonna see less of that just standing on the ground, pivot up, tilting. Yeah. We're already well, seeing a little <laughs> bit of yeah. I mean, it's much harder to do on controller, but yeah. We're talking about one of the best players in the world, so he understands how to do it. Pivots into it to continue it. Yeah. He just he just seems faster overall with uh, controller. Controller, yeah. Boom's uh, comment about keyboard was, it's just so hard. I don't know how to play with it. I was like, uh, you seem to know what you're doing. You're giving Sensei a run for his money. But 
Let's see what Sensei can do to... Sensei takes that stock. Look at that DI. Did you see how far he came? Yeah. He just needed to hit the stage and he would have had that reverse ledge. Oh, and Sensei whiffs on that up air. Sensei goes for the chain grab. You can actually add 0%. Uh, forward throw, up smash, Kirby, and then do a combo, a couple neutral airs, oh, yeah, uh, uh, and then a and then a down air. I think it, depending on where the, the stage and, and the position, I think that can be a zero to death. Uh, yeah, it's t it's tough to to get a the death combo on it, but yeah, it definitely at racks up percentage. Yeah, absolutely. Like you get like seventy percent off the bat sometimes that way. I definitely would go for that over the uh, chain grab. Boom waits it out and lands down here. But he's facing the wrong way for the up air since he gets that forward throw. He doesn't have another jump to follow up after that up air. Oh, falls into the up tilt. And Kirby falls right into that back throw. Ooh. Oh, wow. Grab, you see Pikachu's grab range right there. I, I think it's number two in the game after DK. After DK, yeah, but DK's grab is, has less range. And, like, you can almost run through. Like, if you're really close to DK, sometimes he'll whiff the grab. Yeah. Although, that's, that happens with lots of characters, too. Yeah, Pika, but not so much. Noticeable on DK. Pika's grab range is pretty wonderful. good. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful, yeah. It's wonderful. Sensei trying to throw out a neutral air. And he throws out an F smash. An F smash connects. Nice going deep for the uh, really up wait, air. Really waited on him and used that second jump. And the back part of that up air. Back part of that up air is so good. It comes out so quick. Oh. Just barely missing barely. the belly air. Yeah. Sensei, quick. Sensei uses that. Uh, Kira style recovery. That won't do it. If he would have landed on the ledge, maybe, right? Uh, maybe. It was 129 before. Uh, that, that should do it. 125, yeah. that was on the ledge, yeah. yeah. This is a really tight match yeah. right now. Sensei has to move away after that, after that up air, or he would have been uh, at a disadvantage. He wasn't um, able to follow up, and Kirby would have had the follow up. Sensei lost to Boom on to his keyboard, Kirby, correct? Uh, on this stage? No, he won that. Yes, he did lose that match, okay. didn't he? So he's doing pretty good for a controller, Kirby, too. I think he lost the first match on this stage and won the second match on this stage. I don't know, my brain is fried though. But he definitely won he won Fox Kirby on Hyrule and then they just played this. Yeah. And I believe since they won. Ooh, Ooh Sensei nice dangerously guy. close on that sweet spot. Brings it back. This is sensei big. Boom on the... controller and Sensei has Pika. Now Boom isn't a Kirby main. It's definitely not his most comfortable character, but he is uh He's still boom. He's all around just good with every it, character. But right now, this looks like left. this is going to be Sensei's game. Nice, Strip beautiful versus Sledge from, from Boom. To keep so, himself in this. I guess it sh goes to show that uh, oh. it's not just controller. It's the it's the person. Absolutely. Using it. Oh my God! Boom Trying for the up spike. spike. This, if, if Sensei takes this, he takes the set. But Boom is not going down lightly. Oh my god, Sensei really wants this. He had that with that F smash. Ah, oh, wow. He didn't even let himself hit the blast zone. Boom. I'm sure he was gonna, but. Yeah. Boom ties it up. Wow. So, Sensei's Fox on Hyrule is pretty good, but Boom's controller Fox versus him was pretty, yeah. pretty decisive. Yeah. Especially the second match. The first match, he almost had him, and then he. Repeated it and boom was skimping the hell out of him. So I, yeah. I would, I don't want to see that matchup again, man. I would rather see Pika Kirby, but or Falcon, boom Falcon. Oh no. What? Pika did Pikachu us on Dreamland, and Steve is unhappy about it. What was that? Uh, maybe over there. Yeah. 
So we have Steve here. He's, he wants to talk to some people on the live stream. Do you want us to ask him anything for you? Steve is, uh, like we said before, the guy who makes the adapters to allow um, players who learn how to play Smash online uh, use their controllers on console, whether it's an Xbox, PlayStation, you know, Genesis. Key keyboard. <laughs> Gen <laughs> that Sega Genesis controller. Steve, can you make me a Sega Genesis controller adapter for N64? It's done? Even though it's a D-pad? That's, that's amazing. <laughs> well, he said it's already made. <laughs> well, back to the match. Super Boom fan. Ooh. Oh, he misses the grab. That say actually falls What's off the platform. Uh, new oh, there. That's what that was. I guess, yeah, Boom pushed him off. Still gets the stock, anyways. We're gonna see a lot of grab. up air approaches. Nice down air from Sensei. Nice ledge cancel bear. Oh, Boom is relentless. Yeah. Although, Sensei will take that, that stop. Very nice shield pressure and out of up air. <laughs> That's what you get for taunting me, Boom says. Nice grab. Nice, yeah. He, he knew that he was drifting away and he couldn't do anything, so just why not grab it? Oh, wow. Boom, that, that neutral air out of shield almost connects. Sensei has just got to keep doing what he's been doing, I suppose. Oh, a nice up smash from Sensei. Ooh. Wow, like a frame away from hitting with that uh, neutral air. Who manages to teleport out of it? Yeah. Nice recovery from Sensei. Trying to catch him in that up smash, but Boom Boom smiled because of it. He's like, get out of here, Sensei. Oh, nice there. Wow. Two stock lead for Boom. Boom in full control right now. Nice up here, Wow. Him. That was definitely going to be. If he didn't do that, that was going to be a grab. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sensei tries for a down air on a hard read, or a down smash on a hard read on that ledge, but Boom went around it. Nice. Oh. Just reading out that up air. Sensei. Oh, Sensei messes up that teleport. Yeah, down. He gets the first part of it. Three stacks. You gotta change it up. Nice. Teleport to the ledge. Oh. Sensei. Boom is probably trying to aim up with the quick attack. It's not something you do all the time, so it could be rusty. There it yeah. is. Now you. That's that was a beautiful grand combo final to champion. It off. Super fan. Second place, Sensei. Sensei takes second. Boom goes uh, half of the set with keyboard. <laughs> and we see him go full power. Do you think that's going to stick around?